When we're talking about the concept of volume, we're talking about the amount of space that's defined by a three-dimensional figure. The volume of a cylinder can be calculated by finding the base area, and since the base area is a circle, you can say that's pi r squared, times its height. Now some textbooks will use a capital H, some will use a lowercase h, as long as you remember that you're going to find your base area and then multiply by the height of your solid. But there's a special relationship between the volume of a cylinder and the volume of a cone. Well, if I drew two figures that had the same radius and the same height, then what I could do is I could say that the volume of this cone will be one-third the volume of that cylinder. So we can say that the volume of any cone is equal to one-third times the base area, which is going to be pi r squared since the base of a cone is a circle, times the height. So I could rewrite this in terms of our radius. We could say this is one-third pi r squared times h. So the only two things you need to know to calculate the volume of a cone is the radius and the height. Let's look at a quick example. In this problem, we're being asked to find the volume. I see that I have a radius of 5 centimeters and the height is 10 centimeters. And I know it's the height because we have a right angle there. So we're going to start by writing our formula, just like every problem in geometry. We're going to say the volume is equal to one-third base area times our height. Now we need to identify our known variables. We know that our base area is equal to pi r squared. We know that our height is equal to 10 centimeters. And we know that our radius is equal to 5 centimeters. Now one thing to be careful of when you're taking a test or a quiz is they might give you a diameter, in which case you have to divide by 2 to find your radius. So now we can just substitute in to our volume formula. So we're going to say that volume is equal to one-third because it's a third of the volume of an identical cylinder that has, well it can't be identical because they're different shapes, but a cylinder with the same radius and the same height. So we're going to say one-third times pi times our radius. Now, instead of writing radius, I'm going to substitute in five centimeters. So I'm going to erase that. Now I'm going to write five centimeters, and we're going to square that. And we need to multiply by our height, and our height is 10 centimeters. So we're going to say times 10 centimeters. So if we do 5 squared, that's going to be 25. So we're going to have 1 third, 25 square centimeters times 10 centimeters. Now we're going to check our dimensions here. We should have something to the third dimension, because it's asking us to find volume. And since we have centimeters squared times centimeters, that's going to be centimeters to the third, or cubic centimeters. So this is going to be one-third, 25 times 10 is 250, so we're going to say times 250 cubic centimeters. Now, some teachers will say leave it as a fraction, some teachers will say put in a decimal. If they want a decimal, just use your calculator. So I'm going to say that the volume here is 250 cubic centimeters divided by 3. The key thing to this problem is remembering our volume formula and that the only two things that you need to know to calculate the volume of a cone is the radius and the height.